Welcome to the Cybertruck Unveil. I love you guys too. I love you guys too. Hey. Uh, trucks have been the same for a very long time. Over, like 100 years, trucks have been basically the same. We want to try something different. So I present to you the Cybertruck. Doesn't look like anything else. <laughs> so we'll start off with the size, the dimensions. The functionality I'm going to describe is within a space that is less than the most po popular pickup truck in the United States, the F-150. So we didn't cheat in either width, height, or length. Part of this is it, it, the, the fundamental design change uh, we're, we moved the mass to the outside. We created an exoskeleton. So normally the way that a truck is designed, you have a body on frame, you have a bed on frame, and the, the, the body and the bed don't do anything useful. They're, they're carried like cargo, like a sack of potatoes. It, it was the way that aircraft used to be designed, the, it, when they had biplanes, basically. The, the key to creating an effective monoplane was a stressed skin design. You, you move the stress to the outside skin. It allows you to do things that you can't do with a body on frame. So we're able to make the, the skin out of uh, thick, ultra hard stainless steel. It's really hard. <laughs> I'm gonna show you just how hard. So, Franz, Franz has a sledgehammer. Uh, yeah, don't hold back. Okay. Yeah. It's a regular truck door. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, hit it a couple times. You wanna hit it again? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Now I hit the cyber truck. Same thing. Hit it, hit it harder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wind, I really wind up and nail it. <laughs> yeah. What else can we do? with this truck. What if we, what if we shot it? Let's, let's, let's shoot it. Guy, OSHA, I mean, come on. <laughs> so the, that's a nine millimeter bullet. 
shut at the door. Shoot it. <laughs> We're in California, unfortunately. <laughs> but the nine millimeter, it's, it, is, it is literally bulletproof to a nine millimeter uh, handgun. That's how strong the skin is. So it's, it's, it's ultra hard, cold rolled, uh, stainless steel alloy that we've developed. We're gonna be using the same alloy in, in the Starship rocket and in the Cybertruck. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> what, what about the glass? Love Seems like a vulnerability. <laughs> yeah, tra transparent metal glass. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, let's, 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 let's show some of the tests. Let's, uh, what can we do with this? So f first, first, this is regular glass. This is like normal glass, car glass. We want to show you what happens with normal car glass. Shatters immediately with a, with a little ball. Now I'll show you Tesla armor glass. Nothing. Yeah. But it's, 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 it's kind of a small ball though. That's it's maybe like, do it at a bigger height with a, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's still, still doing it, I guess. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Franz, could you try to break this glass, please? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Oh, my fucking God. Well, maybe that was a little too hard. <laughs> Should we try it on the board? Sorry? It didn't go through. Let's so that's a, that's a plus side. Let's try the right. Okay. Try that one, really? Okay. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> oh man. It didn't go through. <laughs> All right. <laughs> ah, not bad. A little room for improvement. <laughs> in addition, the car has an adaptive uh, air suspension. It's literally built. Yeah, adaptive air suspension. So. This will come standard on all the cars. I think this is actually a very important uh, design element um, because if you have a, a if, 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 every, if every truck has the ability to adjust the ride height, so you can go very low or very high, so you can be efficient on the highway and you can, you can also go off-roading, um, it's gonna have uh, the highest clearance of any, any production truck. So we're gonna have a, 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 about a 16-inch clearance. Um, and uh, you can adjust this on the fly. So it's adaptive damping and, and adaptive uh, ride, ride height. These, these are actually extremely important for a truck. What about a real world, real world test? Like let's, let's uh, actually have a tug of war here with an F-150. Yeah! So you can see, you know, we're, see, see which one can pull which. Let's, let's, uh, let's do the tug of war video. Yeah, but it was uphill. <laughs> now let's see, the, how does this uh, compare to uh, a Porsche 911? <laughs> okay, we're gonna give the Porsche a little bit of a head start. Yeah, this is a, this is a current, current edition Porsche. That this, and this is the actual truck. That is not CGI. <laughs> uh, and uh, it has onboard outlets for 110 and, 100 and 220 volts. So you don't need a generator. Yeah. The, the, the truck literally is your generator. 
Um, and as a little plus, because it's got an air suspension, we can tap off the air suspension so you have a, a, a pneumatic source. So you have an, a, a, yeah. yeah. The onboard air compressor. Of course, it will come with autopilot standard. Yeah. So the, there will be three versions. And, but it's going to. So that, that's the price without any incentives. That's just like the price without any incentives. Um, but the, the actual economics are even better than that uh, because the cost of electricity is much less than the cost of gasoline. So when you look at the actual cost of ownership here, uh, it's, it's, you know, you, you're paying uh, much less for electricity than you are for, for gasoline. You're paying much less for maintenance. There's no oil changes, no smog checks, no nothing, none of that stuff. Uh, so your maintenance is low. Your cost of operations are low. Um, and so it's actually uh, comparable to a, a truck, a, a gasoline truck that's ten to $15,000 less. Oh, 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 I should say also, we're going to be offering rides in this all night. <laughs> Don't mind the glass. <laughs> so, should we do the? Oh, 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 this, oh yeah. So we, we made an. We also made an ATV. So. <laughs> well, let's bring it out. See the, the truck. This is what I mean by the adaptive air suspension. Yeah, nice work, by the way. Um, so the adaptive air suspension, you can drop real low, and you go high on the other side. We call this load mode. So you got load mode. You got a built-in ramp. So you can take an ATV or dirt bike, whatever you want, and load it on the back. Yes. Oh. Uh, can, and it's, 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 current, it's, it's currently plugged in and charging. Yeah. All right. Thank you.